los sueños se hagan realidad. Daryl, estoy detrás de ti. ¿Está por ahí? ¿Está? Espero que no haya perdido su vuelo. Uh, good evening, everybody. So, hello, hello. Hi, Yolanda. Good evening. Irvin, good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Claudia as well. Good evening. How are you doing? Crisia, good evening. Happy good Wednesday, evening. guys. How are you? Are you having a good day? Hi, Joshua. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Great to see you. I just hope you're having a very nice Wednesday um, and that your day is going pretty well. Uh, we are finishing actually tomorrow with number two. So this time is just going like pretty, pretty fast, right? Hi, good evening. How you doing? Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. I am sorry. I What's wrong? Classes. Um, just pues, um, I feel um, I feel unwell. Oh, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, but but are you feeling better now? I feel better now. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So that is really good news. <laughs> That's good to hear. Okay, no problem. No worries. I totally understand. I know a lot of people have been like uh, feeling kind of sick these days, and I think it's just can, pretty normal. Uh huh. For can flu sounds cool. Yeah, right. Everybody's like getting some symptoms like flu, like coughing, headaches. But the important thing is you feel uh, much better now, so that is okay. Um, let me Thank see. You, I see also Adrian has joined in. So hi, Adrian. I think I saw Rafael some seconds ago. Uh, welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining. I see Sofia as well. So thank you so much for being here and for spending, you know, uh, like one hour of your day with us. Today is session number seven. <laughs> Uh, we are going to uh, start working on a part number three or section number three as part of the um, of the program. Thank you so much for activating your camera. I saw Adrian for a second and then he just disappeared. <laughs> okay, hi Mauricio, good evening. Great to see you as well, Noemi, good evening. Uh, hi, thank you, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you so much for asking. What about yourself? Everything good? I can hear you. Wait. 
Oh, okay. I will put, I will, I will uh, put volume at my computer. Uh, okay, yeah, we can listen to you very well. Okay, right now, yes, I can, I can hear you well. Okay, amazing, sounds good. How is your day going? Everything good? Is everything going well? Yeah, it was uh, very busy. Mm -hmm. okay. It was a very busy day. And it uh, was, I think, uh, productive. Oh, okay. Well, that's important. Yeah. By the end of the day, that is important that every day can be productive, that you can be busy, and that, you know, all your, um, your activities um, go by easily, right? So um, let's just start working today, guys, in part of the, of the program that we have for today. Since we are going to start working with uh, unit number three, so we're gonna be talking today a little bit about celebrations, and uh, we are going to be checking some vocabulary. Probably you have already seen this in the video of the section. Probably you have not had the time to do it, but still, so let's go ahead and check the video that it's in the platform like super quick so we can get started with um, our speaking practice. So um, when we are like talking about celebrations, it is important to uh, get familiar first with some of the words that we can use for talking about festivals, celebrations, parties, and similar stuff. So allow me just a moment and let me play this video. If you have listened to this, that is just perfect. If this is the first time that you listen to it, uh, you can take notes um, or you can, you know, write down the new words that you listen to or the pronunciation, etc. So let me just play it. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may... All right, so I will stop it right there. First of all, um, imagine that we are talking about a, a, a cake, right? For which, which type of celebrations do you normally buy a cake? Birthday. Okay, so birthday celebrations, what else? Do you like cakes? Anniversaries, okay. Do you like uh, sweet things? Do you have a sweet tooth? Yes. Yes. No, oh, okay. Like no, oh, oh, what? Who said no? <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> what, seriously? Um, when you have a taste for sweet things, normally you will listen to this expression, I have a sweet tooth. So that means that you like sweet things, candies, chocolate, and all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, so very interesting. You don't like cakes. Okay. So you say uh, anniversaries, birthdays, any other wedding. celebration? Oh, a wedding. Okay. A uh -huh, wedding. Mm -hmm. That definitely makes sense. Divorce? No. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I guess that if you get the divorce, divorce you're extremely happy, divorce. you're free. Yeah. It's so important to divorce. celebrate. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, who can who tell us? That? Who said that? Yolanda, you told, you said that? Huh? Well, yes, yes, I told. To celebrate. <laughs> yes. celebrate what? The divorce? It's a, it's a great, yes, it's a great party. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I would say there are probably other ways to celebrate it, but why not a cake? You know, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Or sweet uh... tequila. <laughs> with a chaka tequila. Like a pie, I, I would say. That. I think it's better that to celebrate with tequila or something like that. <laughs> to celebrate uh, freedom, you know. Yeah. The freedom. Okay. Okay. But a cake sounds fine. Like something more. I don't know, less wild. <laughs> okay. Um, what about cards, guys? Do you normally send cards? Yeah, for uh -huh, for weddings, the uh, regards. Uh -huh. uh, uh, for birthday? Birthday? Like birthday, birthday cards. Okay. For when Christmas. was that? Christmas? Okay. When was the last time you sent a card? 
because that's now, Christmas. I guess we really wow. Yes, months uh, ago, one month ago. Oh, okay. But but a card? You mean like a paper with the envelope and everything, like a card? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. a physical yeah. one. Yeah. Wow. For a, a wedding. Uh -huh. oh. How do you say matrimonio civil? That would wedding. be a civil wedding. Civil wedding, huh? civil wedding. Well, normally we yeah because we have like the civil one or the low one, and then we have the religious wedding or the religious ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So the, I would say this is the first time I hear people still send cards because it's more common to have WhatsApp, a WhatsApp text or email or Facebook or something like that. Okay, so you have sent cards, interesting. Guys, what about the rest? When was the last time you sent a card? No, the, the, the people, all the people right now send uh, when they wedding, Mm -hmm. uh, the people the people prefer not uh, gift uh, they prefer money that you put in the card the money oh okay i got it i got That's it the now. reason and so in the card you put a uh, have a uh, a nice life or whatever no you know oh okay nice. okay you mean like god a bless you god bless you in the new advent in the new Aventura or your life. In the new adventure. Got uh -huh. it. You mean like a sort of envelope, like a gift. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, with... yeah. Okay. Okay. When you when you visit another country, you can send a, a card. Like a postcard, right? With a yes, postcard. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that definitely sounds fine. But I think that with technology, probably it is less common, right? So people don't do that anymore, but but that sounds interesting. So we are still send kind it depends. of cards. The formal mm -hmm. things is to send a card. Okay. When when you get married, you you will you you want to send a, a invitation for WhatsApp or email. Mm -hmm. Okay. But normally you don't not send, you don't send a car. You send a postcard when you start when you uh, when you are in other country. Mm -hmm. That would be like a postcard. Normally you have like a picture or something. Mm -hmm. um, but still, I think I haven't. I think I need to see one. <laughs> I think for weddings, yeah, it is still common because we put like some money into it some bills, right? Okay, makes sense. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Um, I know that with COVID and quarantine, everything changed, but what about dancing? When was the last time you went dancing? Dancing, dancing with the moon. Uh, yeah, or without the moon. <laughs> so yeah. either. Dancing with the moon. Okay. When was the last time you went dancing? Some time ago. I don't know. Do, do you like dancing? Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Kind of. Like That's uh, how do you say a soul, a happy soul, alegre el alma? How do you say that? Oh, yeah. It makes your soul get happy. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, but like not everybody likes dancing, you know, per se. So, um, guys, who likes dancing? I'm not asking if you can dance very well. Just if you like dancing, any type like. of music. Okay. So, like well, when was the last time you went out uh, or you went out with your friends to go dancing? Sophia, it's like never. Huh? You cannot recall it. You cannot remember it. <laughs> okay. Guys, what about... Dancing yeah. and party is mm -hmm. a family. Oh, okay, with your family. Okay. Um, my house. <laughs> oh, you do it in your house. But that's amazing. That's um, really good. I like dancing in my, my house. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Sounds nice. Boys, what about you boys? I'll be in the world, so you'll be in Francisco. What about you guys? When was the last time you went dancing? Uh, my wife danced with the indie movies. 
with the indie movies. Oh, like Bollywood? That's a pretty exactly. nice. Exactly, <laughs> Bollywood movies. Oh, wow. You know, like, like the... belly dancing. Like, I really love those but movies. But in YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what, what about you? Do you dance with your wife? Huh? Do you dance no, with no. her? No, I look, I look her only. <laughs> okay, so you just evaluate <laughs> her skills. <laughs> you evaluate my, my, her abilities. My, my eyes dance. Your eyes dance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, like dancing comes with partying, right? Like going out, going out with some friends or clubbing. We can call it that way as well. Um, fireworks, are you, I don't know, are you fun? Do you like fireworks? Like for Christmas? Like a lot of people buy this volcano with, uh, I don't know, with uh gunpowder and all those things do you like fireworks when yes. I was young, yes yes i, I like, like it yes I know, no yeah. i don't no, yeah I don't. I'm, I'm not a big fan uh, I'm, i think i'm just scared that i can get born okay. right now it's it's too expensive and it's i think it's you have to waste your money to oh. to okay. brow, br uh, to i don't know how do you say quemar Mm -hmm. to, to get fireworks to get oh, fireworks uh -huh. no, oh. no. Uh -huh. i think it's not good for pets ah uh, that's another thing yeah if you have dogs especially so they uh -huh. get really scared that that's really is, yeah that is mm -hmm. a very problem i have with the dogs that is totally mm -hmm. right yeah i i didn't remember that part but dogs are pretty scared of fireworks okay uh, the other one we got is flowers. Guys, do you normally give uh, flowers as a gift? Yes. Do you buy flowers? My mom, my wife. Okay. Nice. Is when, it for a special occasion? When someone die. Oh, okay. okay. Diamond in, in flowers is day. Your mom? Uh, um, your mom and um, how do you say that? Give. No. Give. 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 Your flowers. mother gives flowers. Yes. In the oh. in the in, in the celebratory um, ten day mom. Like, like Mother's Day in May? Mother's Day. Mother's mm -hmm. Oh, yes. okay. So you give flowers to your mom for Mother's Day. Okay. Um, so besides Mother's Day, is there any other event or any other date? Do you give flowers to somebody? In my case. Birthdays? In my case, my daughter gave me flower uh, on my last uh, birthday. In oh. January. Oh, but, congrats! So recently. <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes, but uh, they give me flower uh, with some frequency. Oh, that's nice. That's like really that. sweet. Uh huh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm asking you because um, some people normally give flowers and not necessarily it has to be a birthday celebration, right? But just like, oh, I see a beautiful flower and I give it to somebody. Are you this kind of person? Yes, when, when needs to apologize. Oh, when you need to apologize. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good point. Uh, who do you buy flowers for? No, my, my husband. Oh, give me. Okay. Yes. So your husband is the one who gives you flowers. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. I would get worried because it's like, oh, you bring flowers. What did you do? <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> so I, because it's like an apology. This one. <laughs> I came at home and I see and I saw the flowers. flowers uh, yes, on the table. And I say, oh. 
You what know. did you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because it's apology. Oh. Yeah. So that is a bad idea. <laughs> Okay. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good point. Here we have like other expressions like fruit punch. I think it's not very common in our country. I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, we got a parade, but parades have been eliminated, I guess, ever since uh, 2019. Um, so we don't have parades. Normally they wear like in the street, right? Um, like a lot of bands, a lot of uh, people walking in the street and having some music, but I think they, they disappeared. Did you ever participate in a parade? Normally, um, this LGTV community, so they had some parades. Yes. Yeah, so they had like a sort of carnival in, in Salvador del Mundo, right? Um, for August, also, it was very common that on August 4th, there was a big parade in San Salvador. Um, any other parade that you remember? Or Christmas, maybe. Oh, Christmas? San, San uh -huh. Miguel, Carnaval de San Miguel. Ah, San Miguel. That is a parade. But, but that disappeared, right? Like the Carnival Fest, uh, the San Miguel Festival? Mm, I don't know. I think it was a carnival or something like that. I don't know if last year uh, they had a carnival. I'm not sure. Because I, I think that they were uh, forbidden. So no one was supposed to, right? So and then we have like some other expressions here, like presents, uh, turkey. I would say this is not part of our culture. And the last one we have is wedding. So allow me one second, and I'm going to just present some some other words that we're gonna be using here. Give me Why one not second. roast turkey? Mm, I think well, I think it is not part of our culture. Um, turkey is more for Thanksgiving. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say that is a, um, an American tradition, not ours, I would say. But I don't know. Guys, have you ever heard or have you ever celebrated Thanksgiving here in El Salvador? No, but I sing in, in December uh, when you uh, celebrate Christmas, you can share a mm -hmm. roast uh, Turkey. Turkey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. normal, no? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think, yeah, I mean, the thing is that the turkey represents uh, something very oh, specific mm -hmm. in American culture, yeah. Uh, in El Salvador, it's more common for bread, like to have turkey bread and all those things for uh, Christmas, right? But yeah, you're totally right about it. Uh, now, guys, I got some other words here that we're going to be using. Uh, for example, we have May Red, right? Uh, there are these specific circles people make for uh, November, right? We have exchange, gift, or presents, uh, dress up, or wear costumes, uh, eat traditional food, that is something we normally do, watch parades, actually these are parades, uh, watch fireworks, the toffee apples, I don't know if we still have them in El Salvador, um, like come over, that is the invitation. We have a uh, witch, we have terrify, join in, right? Um, run out of, uh, previously we checked this word, uh, run out of, above uh, for apples, pin the tail on the donkey, and musical chairs that are part of the games, and clean up. So we are going to be using some of these words, but first of all, let's take a look at the one that we have right here that is dress up. Uh, have you ever worn a costume? Have you ever celebrated Halloween or any, um, I don't know, any sort of festival in which you had to wear a costume? Yes. No. Yes, teacher. <laughs> which For one? The Tell us about for it. Year. For the school, for my daughters. What was the celebration about? Um, if I don't know, um, something like the day of the hair. Oh okay. no, the, la tierra. Oh, okay. Like earth? Yes, and like flowers or, 
Fairy. Fairy. Oh, okay. What did you wear? Uh, I I'm not. It's for my daughter. Oh, they your are, daughter did. Yes. Uh, they are wear um, a costume. Mm -hmm. uh, um, on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, what uh, about yourselves? Yes. What about a uh, May three? May or May third? May the third? Uh huh. Uh, May the third. A uh, cross day, no? <laughs> yes. This in is, our country. This is our. It is uh huh. Uh huh. But do do you wear like a costume for that day? Uh, some families uh, commemorate this kind of of uh, what I don't know. Uh, celebration uh, probably date, date? Mm -hmm. date. okay yeah because i remember it was only like a cross people have a cross they have put like some fruit on it and uh i don't remember what else do you do yes <laughs> mm, yes it's fruit uh, all kind of fruit in this uh i don't know epoca season season uh, fruit. Season. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, season fruit yes yeah, I remember it's a lot of mangoes in Hocates Day. <laughs> okay, those are like the most season, the most common seasonal fruit in May. Okay, so um, May the 3rd, March, or March the, th no, I think it's March, right? March no, the May. 3rd, May the 3rd. Okay, okay. Any other celebration you can remember? Sure. Yep. I remember in Chilchupa, La Libertad, mm -hmm. uh, there are any, uh, they, call, they say a corn festival. Uh, they, what was they, that again? Corn festival. Oh. Festival del Maíz. Uh -huh. Corn festival. Uh, they make some food based on, on corn. Mm -hmm. Corn is it's very interesting. You can eat a uh, uh, much platillos. <laughs> okay. Dishes. Dishes. Okay. You oh, can okay. eat much dishes. Dishes uh, based on corn. Okay. Uh, but when you mentioned that it is like a sort of festival, is it more for economic purposes or do families do anything? Do you have to do? Um, I don't know. Anything at home? It's for economical purposes. The in fact. Uh, the celebration is organized by the Algaldia. I don't know. Ah, by the city hall. Yeah, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, city hall. Yeah, because I remember I went to uh, the pineapple festival, the coffee festival. The, what else? What other festivals do you remember that people celebrate? Corn festival, you said. Um, how do you call? Oh my God. What is it? Milk the, festival. Milk, where? In Metapan City. What can you find there? Uh, I don't know in in the in which month uh, we celebrate, but okay. Is what kind of products can you find? Uh, cheese. Uh, Milk and cream, pupusa, cream, um, any uh, many kind of cheese. Everything made out of cheese and milk. Okay, yeah. especially now that cheese is so expensive, <laughs> probably they will not celebrate it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I didn't know about Metupan uh, celebration. Okay, any other festival, guys, that you have heard in your town in your place? Yes, Orange Festival. Orange, where? San Juan Opico. San Juan Opico. What can you find made of orange? Um, it's in August. Uh, okay. They, they celebration in the place where the where up the uh, culture the orange. Mm -hmm. It's a Hampton or oh, country, <clears throat> Los Bajillos. 
say and this okay yeah, and this and this play uh grab or uh, plant the the orange it's mm -hmm. a large actor that the ship there of orange and and they in this month mm -hmm. uh, celebrate the festival the orange fresh festival i very interesting i haven't mm -hmm. heard about orange okay um, what products can you find made out of orange? Mm, chicha. <laughs> it's a, uh, Ch chicha, did you say? Yes. Oh. Yes, it's like a thick, like a caña rica. <laughs> oh, interesting because my father used to make chicha out of corn. But yes. I had never heard out of orange. Okay. Yes. Can you make it? Pineapple, no. <laughs> you can, you can. Ah, uh -huh, pineapple. Yes, the same. Mm -hmm. And and uh, yeah, but that is kind of chaparro, you know. So <laughs> from chicha, you can make chaparro too. So okay, that is new for me. Okay, nice guys. Now let's talk a little bit about this. Let's check this one. I have some questions for you, so we can discuss them. Uh, the first one says, "What is your favorite holiday?" How do you celebrate it? And why is it your favorite? What are some holidays that are celebrated in your country? Well, in our country that are not celebrated in USA. Do you like Halloween? Uh, and do you like Christmas? Or do you celebrate Christmas? I know that some people for religious purposes, they don't celebrate it and that's okay. And the last one says, what are your favorite holiday foods? Depending on the holiday or depending on the celebration, people have different food. For example, I didn't know about this uh, festival made out of orange. Or for the Easter week or Holy Week, people have fish, for example, like dry fish, um, or the so-called torrejas, or the, in December, it's more common that we have the, the uh, like bread with chicken, turkey, or the leftovers that are so famous in El Salvador, the, the recalentado, right? That is the leftover. So uh, what is like your favorite? We call them left. Sure. Leftover, yes. How do you say jocote in miel for holiday? That, <laughs> that is a really good word. And I have to be super honest with you. Uh, I forgot the word hokote in English, but let me investigate it. But it is not hokote in honey. <laughs> I can tell you that. So let me investigate it and I will give you the word in a moment because I have forgotten that one. Uh, there are some expressions or some fruits uh, that are like very Latinas, like nasas, hokotes, and the name are a little bit strange, let's say. So let me, let me try to uh, look for that one and I'll let you know in a moment. So guys, I'm going to give you some minutes so we can discuss these questions. You can take a picture always, um, or you can write them, so whatever you prefer. Talk, guys, as much as you can, all right? Please don't be quiet. The groups are for you to practice. And uh, I'll see you in like five, seven minutes. So everybody, let's join the groups, please. Okay. Chicken. chicken, turkey, chicken, turkey, uh, chicken. And a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, 
salsa. Con... I don't know how, con salsa. I don't know how do you say salsa. Uh, sauce, uh, sauce. So. I think so. I don't know. Chicken too. with sauce. Sauce, uh, yes. Sauce. Okay. How do you celebrate the Christmas? Red moon bean is cote. A very strange. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite no, is uh, Christmas. Really? In celebration yeah. is Christmas. Is um, and también me gusta. O sea, I like is Semana Santa. Holy week. Holy week. Semana Santa. And for uh, food, I like food <laughs> in Semana Santa. <laughs> Then go to the beach. <laughs> what did you do in Semana Santa? What? what is the food? What do you uh, eat? I like uh, food is and uh, candy, candies, uh, uh, different candies, and fruits in candies. <laughs> <laughs> in honey mm -hmm. um, you know that the celebration is very famous here too is the uh, uh, date of uh, el dia de los muertos the uh, uh, november. Uh, november. Uh, yes, uh, november yes uh, uh, november 2 it's a uh, uh -huh, and you can eat uh, the tor no no torrejas it's a uh, torrejas yes no, 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 no es torrejas, es uh, the other, it's uh, ojuelas. I don't know ah, how do you say ojuelas. Es oh. Ojuelas <laughs> with, ojuelas with honey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I like, yes, I like. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Christmas is my favorite. And yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a most, uh -huh. <laughs> it's my yeah. favorite too, I think. I food is 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 my life is pa cómo se dice pan cómo se dice pan bread 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 and chicken bread with chicken bread with chicken yes bread with chicken for me rice or you, you don't you don't you don't and eat rice? rice rice and uh, rice and chicken or turkey or uh, I don't know how do you say well um, yeah. uh, it's uh, the other is a very it's very it's delicious it's a it's a candy camote. I don't ah, know yeah. how do you say oh, wow. camote candy, cam, camote candy, camote. or dulce de camote. No sé cómo se dice. Conserva. Conserva. Oh, no. Con... <laughs> no, conserva, no. Okay, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, uh, It's candy. No, don't uh, worry. No, it, uh, oh, guys. Do we make, uh, it do we make conserva? Uh -huh. yeah. How do you celebrate it? Dude. For, for me? Uh, my favorite holiday is in March 27, 20 around, because uh, my company give a uh, day for founder days. All person up to more than 10 years, they give a uh, uh, one day and they give a uh, And it's like anniversary. Family. They have yes. a day off or what? Day off. For uh, uh, and you sell and you celebrate all together or each one? Or? Only in the, only on my company the person have more 10 years. Uh-huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Like a founder day. They say founder days. Ah, okay. Oh. You have more than 10 years. Yeah. El, ah, okay. <laughs> nice. See, it's a it's a nice uh, celebration.
Mm, yes, I like Christmas. Um, so uh, like because because I, I enjoy the food. <laughs> I like the food of the Christmas. <laughs> I like the fireworks, the fairies. <laughs> um, celebrate with the family. Yes, it's the most important thing for me. Yes, it's very important. I, I, I love to uh, cook for, for this holiday. It's enjoy because... Um, what do you like last, cook? The last Christmas, uh, my mom and I invented to, to make tamales. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yummy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was uh, our first time, but uh, it was good. <laughs> oh. It was a good experience. What kind of tamales? Like corn tamales or chicken tamales? Chicken tamales. Chicken tamales. Ah, okay. And yeah. and did you do it with the banana, uh, the banana leaves and everything? Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. All the glass is complete. Wow, oh. that's nice. <laughs> yeah. The first the first time I tried to make tamales, I put uh, too much water, <laughs> so the tamales oh. were washed. Oh. But that was a long time ago, and then I learned. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, and it is not so difficult. Yeah. I think it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. But in this in this case, I uh, we didn't know cook the how do you say masa? The dough. The dough. Yes. Uh huh. You didn't cook it. Yeah. You didn't boil it. Yeah. Oh. Because I, I knew that, well, the, the process that I know is you have to boil the dough uh -huh, and then you make the tamale. Oh, okay. Uh, my mom told me that my, my grandma cooked tamales uh, using this way. Okay. Like with raw dough. So it was raw. Mm -hmm. Dough. How many tamales did? 96. 96. Wow, that was <laughs> a lot. A lot of tamales. We are around 18 to 20. <laughs> a lot of tamales. <laughs> yeah. Well, but the good thing is that you had fun and that you learned something different. <laughs> Yes. And you enjoy it. <laughs> yes, a lot. Uh, in El Salvador, we can to say we cook a uh, turkey chicken. Chompy uh, pollo. Ah, chompy pollo. I don't know. I think it's just chicken or turkey, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Well, that is a really good question. This is the pan the money because but, the, the turkey is expensive. Uh, okay, but now that you mentioned chompy pollo, I'm not sure because I have Combinate. never bought it. Uh -huh, what is that? <laughs> Is that like a like a, a like hybrid? A, chicken. <laughs> it's a, a hybrid, hybrid chicken? A hybrid chicken. Like chicken and turkey together. Yes. I believe that is it's a fat chicken. It's a it's it's a big chicken. It's a big chicken. Okay. I have to investigate, guys, because that sounds like a hybrid. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, especially. I think, yes, I think it's a war, Salvadorian war, but I uh, say so. But I don't know, uh huh, because chompy pollo sounds like chompipe, right? Like like a turkey one, but there is another one. 
um, that I still don't know how to put it. Um, oh my God, wait. Um, there is a combination of, um, what's that? Bill and cow, I think. That is very expensive, the meat, but I don't remember uh, the name. Yeah. Oh my God, I've forgotten. The, the meat is really expensive, but it is not cow. Pretty way? That one. For example, that is a hybrid. So I still don't know how to, how to put it in English. <laughs> so I would <laughs> say a hybrid, uh -huh, because it's a combination. I still don't know if we got names for those in English. But let me investigate it. I would say big chicken so far. It's a big chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's what I was just saying. Um, guys, what about the next question? Is there any specific food that you like? Or, or was that the question? What are your favorite holiday foods? Oh, okay. Do you have a favorite one? I like... Mm, Uh, turkey for the Christmas. I like tamales for the Christmas. I like pupusas and chocolate with the <laughs> everything. Bread with chicken. Oh. Pupusas is for every day. It is for every day. <laughs> for the so national it, day. It, the it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the celebration pupusas are good. <laughs> okay. What about the rest of you guys? I think I haven't heard Sarai's voice. For me, I load off all uh all with car, like uh, tamales um atoll. I don't know how do you say how do you say in English? Atoll is fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, the rig was too. Okay, so everything uh, made of corn, yes, like all, baby corn. All with corn. When it's the season, I always say to my mom, uh, she makes me all the food with corn. Wow, so that includes like corn, like crazy corn. Yes, all. <laughs> okay, like some patties, like some tortitas that people make as yes. well. To is fried, fried tortitas. Like fried dots or fried patties. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. okay. That's quite interesting because from sweet corn, I don't like the flavor. I just like, what do I like? I don't like uh, corn tamales, for example, like baby corn tamales because of the smell and because of the flavor. I don't like them. Uh, I just like a uh, probably had a drink. That's it. <laughs> what about you guys? Are you a big fan of uh, corn or baby corn products or food? Yes, I um, I enjoy to to eat tamales <laughs> with ah, okay. cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> or the atoll. <laughs> ah, that is good. Uh -huh. yeah, I really like it. So good. <laughs> you know, the only way I can eat tamales, I remember, is if I fry them. So I fry them and I put some cream. And then the, the, then that is okay. Me too, me too, oh, teacher. I don't see. like fried <laughs> uh -huh. I don't like tamales other, other way. Uh -huh. Because of the smell, I don't know. <laughs> and you guys? I yes. Like <laughs> the tamales of the Usulutan is different of, this, of this in Salva. Wait. But are delicious. Really? From Usulutan? Yeah. yeah. What is the difference? Uh... The <laughs> masa de Dios Concepción. No. Oh, dough, dough, like donut. Uh, think about donuts, so dough. Uh -huh. Dough no, this is different. It's... Oh. Like chewy? Chewy? Like pegajosa? 
like pegajosa, chewy? No, it's um, no es tan fino, son más como chachalacos. O sea, no están bien molestos. Oh, <laughs> um, my hands. They okay, clean. okay they're like rough. Fire. So they uh, are rough. R O U G H. Uh, mm, rough. Okay, como ásperos. Like rough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But the flavor, is the flavor the same? Um, I... I ate uh, salad. No, with no sugar. Like salty, salty tamales. Salty is salados. Salty. Yes. Salty. Salty tamales. Oh, okay. That sounds like the. They are delicious. Wait, they have a name, I think, but I don't remember. Pisques? Salty. No. Uh -huh. No. no? Son de, de lote. Okay, yeah, uh huh. I don't think I'm familiar with those tamales, but but you it's know, baby corn uh -huh. with salt, baby corn and salt. Oh, uh -huh. wow, and are they good? Yeah, <laughs> I <laughs> need to, uh, <laughs> uh, like, like a little sweet, right? Yes, but, but I'm super open minded, so. <laughs> I would like to, to give them a try, like like the um, uh, pupusas from San Miguel, you know, with mayo and black sauce and all of it. So I think that until you try it, so you can say I like it or I don't like it. So I will go for it. Uh, Usulutan tamales as well. Guys, it was not a nice chat. Give me just a second because we will be going back. Um, hey guys, uh, thanks a lot for coming back. It was a really interesting chat. Um, and it was really interesting to listen to your taste, you know, in, in food, in celebrations and all those things. Um, did you listen to anything that you would like to share? Did you listen to anything that is quite interesting? I know that out of this uh, little conversation, we will find a lot of vocabulary. So don't worry about it because little by little, we are going to start um, checking how to say those words in English. But is there anything that you want to share with the rest of the class? Anything that you found quite interesting? All of the conversation uh, were interesting, teacher. All right. Actually, yes. yeah, I had a really nice time talking to some of you guys. And there, are, there is actually an exercise that I want to uh, complete with you because of this. I know that there are a lot of words in English that we don't know how to say them. Some of them are very Salvadorian and some are very Latinas. So they don't have a way to be said in English. What do we do then with those words? Easy. If there is not a word to say, um, to, to say them in English, find a way to explain them. Find a way to give a definition out of that word. So we are going to do this exercise because the idea is not to say a word in Spanish, but to try to give a definition, try to explain them in English. I have some, wor some words that we are going to be using um they are in spanish most of them but i want to i want you to try to give them um like to try to explain them in english so one of them is a uh, manzanilla but we are not talking about something that you may tea but we are talking about this fruit uh, for november manzanilla. little mm -hmm. apple 
we are up talking up. about <laughs> about this one <laughs> like the little we are up um, um recalentado tamal how do you say tamal in english ah that's Re a good word that is not <laughs> there is no way to say that um no. we have tamal. now there are some there are some words that we cannot translate okay. um so we have for example some fruits that we cannot translate they are super latinas um let me see what else mango sure Oh, but mango is mango. Uh -huh. papaya. I mean, it's the same. No, papaya. papaya. Um, no, but there is a word for pitahaya. That is the dragon fruit. A dragon. That is called a dragon fruit. It's um, for pepeto. Yes. But manzanilla is chamomile. Oh, the chamomile is yeah. the, um, the like the root, the stem that you may think. But this is something red. Uh -huh. I think somebody said like little apple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is something sweet uh -huh, that, that you can make. So guys, um, this is very interesting because some words cannot be said in English. So the question is, how do you call them in English? So we are going to try to give an explanation, okay? Instead of just saying the word, try to explain them. So for example, manzanilla, we are not talking about chamomile. So we are talking about this red fruit or it's a candy or a toffee food that is sold on November the 2nd. How would you explain what manzanilla is? But in this kind of manzanilla is like a apple with honey. Okay. No. Yes. Ah, okay. Sure. Yes. It's, it's like saying, I don't know. But you can say, uh, to the manzanilla is uh, a, a little tree, a little tree mm -hmm. with a flower you can use to, to make tea and drink. Oh, that would be chamomile. Uh -huh, that would be chamomile. That is kind yeah. of the, the, yeah, you use the stem and you use the flower too. That would be chamomile. This manzanilla is something different. <laughs> I don't have a picture here. But it's super Salvadorian, I, I think. Seen, I have seen is honey. like cherry. It's like cherry. Oh, like a cherry. Oh, like, like a cherry, cherry with honey. Oh, okay. Like I a have, sweet cherry. I have seen, I have seen on the ferias. Oh, okay. Yes. I don't know how to say ferias or, or, or parties. I don't know how to say. Festival. Festival. You can festival? say festivals. Or you can say carnival. Um, you carnival. can say fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay. That sounds nice. What about recalentado? Imagine that you don't know how to say this. That is leftover. But how would you explain this in English? Uh, when, you, cook. when you say <laughs> the, 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 the chicken, the rotter chicken, <laughs> and you eat uh, uh, next day. <laughs> okay. I don't know next how to explain. <laughs> next if you have to is cook. Uh, several times <laughs> cooks oh, okay uh <laughs> you will not believe me but i still have recalentado <laughs> i still have recalentado you from the um, microwave right. uh, uh, so, but so some, like... food, some food are very good re recalentadas <laughs> re okay actually re we, we call them no we call them the leftovers so in English, this is the leftovers. Yes. Como las sobras, okay. let's say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that is le the leftovers. Mm -hmm. So I still, I do have a leftovers from uh, from December, but it is frozen. So I, I didn't remember. That's right. That All right. Leftovers. <laughs> Those are the leftovers. Uh -huh. no, what about tamal, guys? What's a tamal? Tamal is, is uh... it's, uh... like Mesa? a kind of... With a leaf. Okay. Masa uh, with paper. How do we say masa? Anybody? I don't know. Masses. Masa. <laughs> Guys, I I, I no, told one no. group. Oh, ah, yeah. there we go. Uh, yeah, I was like, wait, I told you. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is a dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I the no. T is extra. I for I it just oh. is extra. So that is the dough. Mm -hmm. So tamales dough, oh, all right. Corn. Like corn dough, yes. all right. 
with chicken oh. and uh, Call the Okay. <laughs> yeah, it sounds nice. Okay. What about ajuela? This is like I don't I have never seen like this kind Conflict. of cookie. Oh, like okay, like kind of flake. Uh -huh. like, a like a giant cornflake. Like a giant cornflake. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Right? I think that like is... a cereal. Uh, yeah, it sounds kind of the same. Like a flower. Crispy. Crispy. Uh huh. Crispy. Yeah, it is crispy. Okay, it is sweet, right? Sweet. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about this fruit? How would you explain no, papaya? Ojuela is. There is no sweet. With if you put milk, yeah, uh, uh, honey, yes. I have always no, thought that it's it, sweet. It well, for me, sweet. <laughs> uh, but probably I don't think it's bland. So we have sweet, and we have this other flavor that is bland, como insípida. I don't know. Uh, no, I think it, it, it's I think bland. it's sweet. Uh huh. Well, for me, it isn't bland. It is kind of it's sweet. It's a little sweet, but... It's quite sweet. Because... Not super sweet, just a little yeah. sweet. Uh -huh. Because you, you, you eat with, with honey. Yeah, right. You put a little honey on it. Mm. But I don't think it's bland. So no es insipida, no es simple, I think. Mm. I don't know. Probably our, our taste is just... A little different. And the last one, guys, that we have is papaya. How would you explain papaya? Papaya is a kind of fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fruit is, from tropical. Orange. Fruit tropical. Uh, mm -hmm. It's delicious. Uh, you can go mm -hmm. to delicious. the bathroom. It's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it helps a lot with the constipation. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. It well, that is a, a nice helps. way to explain it. Yes. No, I think I heard teacher, probably not. Okay, guys, unfortunately, our time is like super, super, it's gone. <laughs> okay, look, tomorrow we will continue talking about celebrations. And I think the best way to talk about it is um, if you can select or if you can think about the celebration that you like the most, probably a holiday. Um, think about a celebration you like, probably from El Salvador, outside El Salvador, or a festival that you would like to go, or a country um, that calls your attention because of the festivals. And tomorrow you share. You don't have to memorize it. You don't have to read it. Just think a little bit about it. Maybe you can watch a little video or just whatever you know about the country. That is just fine. And you tell us tomorrow, all right? Thank you guys uh, for your participation today. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. And don't forget to look for the country or the festival. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night.